from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for October 25th, 2017. In a moment, we're going to be taking a look at the EUR, USD, the Euro versus the US dollar for today's trade analysis. But first, I want to recap a couple of the trades that we've been following over the past few days. Here on the NZD USD, we're looking at the daily time frame. You'll see down here at the very bottom of the chart, we have a short or sell going from 69.80 all the way up from 69.80, currently sitting 94 pips of profit on that trade. What I wanted to show you here is the significance of the support that we're at right now, 68, 55, 68, 75, the green shaded area at the very bottom of the chart. You look back here where the two boxes are, the blue box, the black box, it is a significant support level. So my suggestion, if you're holding those trades that we've been following over the past few days, is that you are protecting profit. You're closing some profit. I've closed all but one, one last little lot here on the trade. Uh, move your stop loss into profit. All of that is protecting profit and protecting this trade from going negative if it finds support like it did the last two times we challenged this mid-6800 level. So protect profit if you're in it. If you're not in it, I don't think right now is the best time to go short, of course, but uh, definitely watching those last two supports here on the New Zealand dollar. We sw switch on over to the dollar franc, the other trade that we've been following here, and this one happens to be a long or buy from the 97.60 level. Uh, we've been in this for a few days now, protecting profit again. Take a look back here at the three blue circles. You can see significant resistance into the blue shaded area, multiple times finding resistance into the blue shaded area. The 97.60. 99.45, 99.55 level. We've come pretty close to it and now shying away from it a little bit. Let's go ahead and zoom it in on that a little bit. So there it is at the top. You can see coming very close to the 99.40 level. In fact, today's high is 99.40. So uh, very close to that. Of course, shying away from it now. I would say that if you're looking to go long still or stay long, we need it to stay above this purple zone, 9,900. If it gets underneath it, we're likely looking for some pullback here for the dollar franc. So protect profit again. Move your stop loss into profit. Close some profit. I've closed a good bit of profit. Uh, and looking for this to either continue to go up or eventually turn back around and uh, take us out of the remaining portion. But currently sitting 160 pips of profit. Great trade there. All right, now let's move over to the euro dollars for today's trade opportunity, I think. Uh, we have been short on this currency pair for the past few days, 1.1810, currently sitting about 30, 35 pips of profit on the trade. We've seen, uh, obviously, a good bit more as it was dipping lower. Uh, and we've closed some profit. We've locked in. Can't lose on the remaining portion of the trade. A couple of things here. First off, we're on the daily time frame, the blue trend line, uptrend. You can see the pattern of the trend. I put blue boxes here all the way up. Uh, we've seen a little shift in that pattern along the black trend line. Uh, there's some boxes up here, a blue box, a black box, and a green box. Maybe a little bit difficult to see the pattern here, so I want to shift over to a different chart. It's still the euro, but looking at the overall structure of the pattern of this trend here is really what I want to get across. I've zoomed it out so you can't even see candlesticks. You can only see the, the lines here. The yellow trend line, of course, the uptrend, but here's the pattern that we've been studying in the trade room. The blue trend line, or the blue line here, being somewhat of a shoulder level of a head and shoulder spatter and the head at the green line at the top, the top of the black trend line, and the red line being the bottom of that pattern. Of course, at this point, we've been trading shorts and selling as close as possible to the blue zone or at this point, right smack in the middle of our pattern here. And we've been looking for an eventual breakdown We've been looking for an eventual breakdown of the red line. Of course, that would send it lower, potentially down into the 114 level or lower uh, if you look at the Fibonacci levels here on the chart. And of course, all of that changes and would be invalidated if it breaks back above the blue zone. So that blue zone, very important for us, or that shoulder level, very important for us for our trading on the euro dollar. Let's take it back to our other chart, begin to zoom it in here and see what's been happening. So again, you can see the blue box and green box a little bit better 
they the top of those uh, boxes or the top of the shoulder level is the orange shaded area the green zone is where our current entry is and where we took the short the last time the market came up towards the 1.1800 level right smack in the middle of that zone we can see two times touching the top so for the day today we've already seen some support past couple of days here at the blue zone we've been talking about that in the trade room potential intraday reversal back to the green zone and what we're looking for now is continued resistance at the green shaded area 117.95 118.25 you can see a little bit of a falling pattern along the black trend line and even the last two highs that we see here uh, right here under the black x and right here under the black x you can see the last two highs getting somewhat lower so if that pattern along the black trend line high lower high and continued lower high into the low 118s would continue that pattern. Then, of course, we look for another challenge of the blue zone. And eventually, if it, the pattern continues, a break of the blue zone, and we look for it to go lower. All of this changes. And really, even if it touches the orange zone, we're still within the pattern. But all of it changes if it gets above the black trend line and likely above the orange shaded area 1860, 1890. So for the time being, we're going to continue focusing on opportunities to go short if it touches back into 118 today i think that could be another opportunity to go short here on the euro dollar you know, anywhere between 18 118 and 118 25 the green zone i think would be an appropriate level uh to look for an opportunity to go short within our head and shoulders pattern of course looking for the breakdown of the blue zone which it hasn't done yet uh so at least at this point, I don't think it's a buy scenario. And the buy scenario would likely have been better risk reward buying from the blue zone 1735. So we're not there. So don't buy it at this point. The only reason I would look to go short or look to sell this currency pair would be a touch or challenge inside the green shaded area 117.95, 118.25 for the euro dollar today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.